Hello students, let us start with a new topic from the chapter Fluid Kinematics. So today we will learn about Streamline Function, Pathline Function and Streak-like Function. There are three types of fluid elements trajectory which are Streamline, Pathline and Streak Lines. They are all equivalent for steady flow but differ conceptually for unsteady flow. So, we will start with streamline equation. A streamline is defined as a line which is everywhere parallel to the local velocity vector. So, any line which is parallel to the local velocity vector is termed as streamline which is v of x y z and t is equal to u i cap plus v j cap plus w k cap. So now this is d s bar is equal to d x i cap plus d y j cap plus d z k cap. As an infinite arc length vector along the streamline since this is parallel to the velocity v we must have ds bar multiplied by the velocity vector is equal to 0 so now we can write this as v dy minus sorry w dy minus v dz i cap plus u dz minus w dx j cap plus v dx minus u dy k cap is equal to 0. Separately setting each component to 0 gives us three differential equation which defines the streamline. The three velocity components that is u, v and w must be given as a function of x, y and z before these three equations can be integrated. To set the constant of integration, it is sufficient to specify some point that is x0, y0 and z0 through which the streamline will pass. So in two dimensional, we have dz is equal to 0 and w is equal to 0 and only k bar component of the equation is non-trivial and this can be written as an ordinary differential equation of the streamline shape y of x therefore this can be written as dy by dx is equal to v upon u again u of x and y and v of x and y must be given to allow integration and x0 and y0 must be given to set the integration constant. In numerical integration, x0 and y0 will serve as the initial values. So, this is the diagram through which we can understand about 2D streamline that is 2 dimensional streamline as well as 3 dimensional streamline. So in 2 dimensional we have 2 direction that is x and y but in 3D we have all the 3 direction that is x, y and z. Stream tubes. Now for 3 dimensional we have a set of x0, y0 and z0 those points are arranged in a closed loop. The streamlines passing through all these points from the surface of a stream tube because there is no flow across the surface. Each cross section of stream tube carries the same mass flow. So the stream tube is equivalent to the channel flow embedded in the rest of the flow field. Now this is my two dimensional stream tube. 
so we have only two components that is x0 and y0 and we are assuming that all these streamlines are passing through the point and this forms a two dimensional stream tube so now in two dimensional stream tube is defined by two streamlines as i discussed in two dimensional we will be having two different streamlines that is x0 and y0 which passes to different specified points x0 y0 these are the points this is my x0 and this is my y0 the flow between these two streamline carries some mass at each cross section and can be considered as two dimensional channel flow embedded in the rest of the flow field so this is my field through which this streamlines are passing now in this three dimensional stream tubes we have all the three components that is x0 y0 and z0 these are the points and through which my streamline is passing path lines the path line of a fluid element a is simply the path it takes through space as a function of time an example of path line is the trajectory taken by one puff of smoke which is carried by the steady or unsteady wind so the puff of smoke is an example of my path line this path is fully described by three position function x of t y of t and z of t which can be computed by integrating the three velocity field components that is u v and w in the with respect to x y z and t along the path the integration is started at time t not from the elements initial position x not y not and z not that for example the point the smoke has been released and it proceeds to some time later that is time t suppose the smoke is originating from this point so this is my x not y not and z not and this smokes after a certain time which is to a certain point with respect to time t so from t not till t are the limits of integration now x of t is x not plus integration of u with respect to x y z and t from the limit t not to t similarly over here it is x so we have taken the initial value that is x not for y the initial value becomes y not and this u gets replaced by the velocity component in y plane that is v and in z it becomes w the dummy variable of integration t runs from t not till t and we will integrate all these things with respect to t streak lines a streak line is associated with a particular point p in space which has the fluid moving past it all the points which pass to this point are said to form streak line of point p an example of streak line is the continuous line of smoke emitted by a chimney at point p which will have some curved shape if the wind has a time varying direction so if the wind has a time varying direction this smoke at certain times have curved shape unlike a path line which involves the motion of only one fluid element a in time a streak line involves the motion of all the fluid elements along its length so in path line 
it is the motion of only one fluid element but in streak line it is the motion of all the fluid elements along its length hence the trajectory equation for path lines are applied to all the fluid elements defining the streak line the figure below illustrates all the three that is streamline path line and streak line for the case of smoke been continuously emitted by a chimney at point p in the presence of a shifting wind one particular smoke puff a is also identified and we will be learning from this figure when the wind is everywhere along one particular direction so in a steady flow all these three lines that is streamline path line and streak line all will coincide so now look this is my point p and from point p the smoke puff is being released so this will be my streak line which is flowing in one direction another one will be the path line of fluid element a so this dotted lines shows the path line and this is the instantaneous wind velocity so the streak lines at successive times is been represented in this given figure thank you